Somebody needs to walk in the house. Let me give God praise over here. Hallelujah. 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 karibisha mgeni aliye katikati yetu kama kunaye mgeni popote katika mkutano huu inua mkono mahala popote ulipo kama kunaye mgeni 
Asante tumpigie makofi ya furaha. Asante sana na kuomba kwa roho ya unyenyekevu njoo tu utusalamie tukujue wewe ni nani na umeweza kufika namna gani mara hapa. Tutafurahi karibu. Anapokuja tupige makofi ya furaha. Karibu sana katika jina la Yesu. Asante sana kwa kukubali mwaliko na kuweza kusafiri kufika mahali hapa ili uje uweze kushiriki nasi. Isiwe mara ya kwanza na ya mwisho bali mlango wetu uko wazi. Karibu tena, karibu tena. Tumpigie makofi afraha. Asante sana. Ah, wakati huu nataka nipeane nafasi moja tu kama kuna yule aliye na ushuhuda kwa haraka ila nitakuwa ninafunga kama hata kuwepo kwa haraka kama kunaye moja katika jina la Yesu kwa kumshukuru Mungu kwa kazi njema ambayo Bwana amefanya katika maisha yake Bwana asifiwe mimi namshukuru Mungu kibinafsi kama bado nangojea mwingine a uh, juma a uh, juma lilopita kuanzia niseme tu juma likianza nisikia mwili ukiwa unaanza kulegea ilipofika katikati ya juma nikasikia mwili umekataa unauma joint zinauma nasikia hali si sawa nikatoka kazini jioni nikarudi kwangu kakimbia nikatafuta madawa nikaona nijaribu kama nitatibika lakini nikaona kwamba haikunisaidia. Lakini Mungu ni waajabu kwa kuwa nataka nikuambie jambo moja ya kwamba daktari kazi yake ni kutibu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini anayeponya kunaye mmoja naye jina lake anaitwa Kristo Yesu na niposa maandiko anamuita kuwa Yehova Rafa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nilienda kwa daktari siku ya Ijumaa akanidunga shindano akanipa madawa na niposa wakati huu unapoona nikiruka ruka mara hapa jambo lile linalofanya ninamwadhimisha Bwana aliyeniamsha siku hizo tatu nne siku anaenda kazini lakini ilipofika siku ya leo siku ya kuja kumwadhimisha Bwana nimeamka Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo nataka nikuambie tunapomuita Kristo katika roho na kweli yeye ni mwaminifu anaachilia kile ambacho wewe ulichokuwa unamuitisha. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo nataka nikuambie kitaka uponyaji uko mikononi mwa Kristo Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Kama umefinyiliwa chini na hali yoyote ile changamoto za maisha kunaye aliye na ufunguo naye sio mwingine bali ni Kristo Yesu Bwana asifiwe yeye ndiye tumekuja kumwadhimisha yeye ndiye tumekuja kumuita yeye ndiye tumekuja kumuinua na ameketi kwa kiti cha enzi yeye ndiye yule yule ambaye ni jana leo na hata milele Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumpigie Bwana makofi ya furaha. Asante. Nataka tusimame kwa miguu zetu sote. Waimbaji jioni hapa. Nataka tuende mbele za Bwana katika wimbo wa kuabudu. Na kisha baadaye nitakuwa naleta mtumishi wa Mungu aje asemesane nasi neno la Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Karibu sana waimbaji. 
katika jina la Yesu.
mikono yetu sote juu tumwaminishe Asante Bwana Asante Yesu Bwana asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nataka kumleta mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ni baba wetu wa kiroho mala hapa My Reverend Justus Olacho kuna kitu ambacho Bwana ameweka ndani ya moyo wake na nataka kuja ili ataweze kutugawanyia nataka sote tuweke mikono zetu pamoja tunapokaribisha neno la Bwana tupige makofi ya furaha karibu sana karibu sana mtumishi wa Mungu karibu karibu asante karibu sana has enabled us brought us unto this service our second service which we must finish by 1:30 ibada yetu ya pili ambayo lazima tuimalize saa 7:30 praise be to the lord bwana yesu asifiwe for my daughter that just came to visit us we welcome you once again come and visit us msichana wangu ambaye umetutembelea siku ya leo tunakaribisha tena urudi utembelee any other visitor that may have been afraid to stand we welcome you once again to come and fellowship together with us kama kuna mgeni mwingine ambaye aliogopa kusimama labda tunakaribisha tena uje ushiriki pamoja nasi we had a wonderful service in the morning tulikuwa na ibada and we are also blessed this afternoon to have another second service i want to thank our mighty god for giving us this opportunity again all the elders in the church and the mothers young people and together with the ministers in the house of god god is good Mungu ni mwema and all the time nas wakati wote do we give him all the glory and honor today tunampa utukufu wote siku ya leo for the next few minutes by the help of god kwa dakika chache zijazo kwa uwezo wangu to share this con- with congregation tunahitaji kushiriki na umati huu on the topic na katika somo god works with risk takers Mungu hufanya kazi na watu ambao watarisha maisha you must be willing to risk lazima ukue unahitaji and then god will take over na mungu naye atachukua ushukani and work together with you na atende kazi pamoja nawe let us bow our heads as we pray acha tuinamishe vicho tunapoomba father in the name of jesus we thank you we bless you because of your holy word that we are just about to read we pray that god of heaven even as we speak with our viewers and our listeners lord and those that are in this sanctuary today We pray that Jehovah Lord you shall be able to become a god of blessing in their lives that you shall walk with us that you shall guide us and lead us for it is in Jesus name we pray trusting and believing and may God's people say Watu wa Mungu aseme amina We may be seated in the presence of the Lord Tunaweza pata nafasi tuketi kwa jina la Yesu From the book of Esther Tunasoma kutoka kitabu cha Esther I want to share with us briefly on something that the morning speaker spoke about. Tunahitaji kushiriki kitu kidogo ambacho mhubiri wa asubuhi alinena kuhusu. And something else that the Lord may bring our way today. Na kitu kingine ambacho Bwana ataleta mbele zetu tena. The book of Esther chapter number 5. Kitabu cha Esther sura ni ya 5. Verse 1, 2 and 3. Mstari wa kwanza wa pili na watatu Now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house over against the king's house and the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house 
over against the gate of the house. Read in Swahili if you can. Ikawa siku ya tatu Esther alijivika mavasi yake ya kifalme akasimama katika ua wa ndani wa nyumba ya mfalme kuelekea nyumba ya mfalme naye mfalme akaketi juu ya kiti chake cha enzi katika nyumba ya mfalme kuelekea mlango wa nyumba and it is so when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight and the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand so Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter ikawa mfalme alipomwona malikia Esther songa kidogo hapa ikawa mfalme alipomwona malikia Esther amesimama uani yeye akapata kibali machoni pake nayo mfalme akamnyoshea Esther fimbo ya dhahabu aliyokuwa nayo mkononi basi Esther akakaribia akaigusa akaigusa njaa ya fimbo praise be to the lord bwana yesu asifiwe you can read on your Unaweza jisomea mstari wa tatu and uh, I will even quote it as we move along. Na pia ataweza kuikariri tunapoendelea. Praise be to God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I'm glad to be saved today. Nimefurahi kuwa nimeokolewa leo. And I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord this afternoon. Nimefurahi kuwa katika nyumba ya Bwana jioni ya leo. By God's grace that we are where we are today. Ni kwa neema ya Mungu tuko tulipo siku ya leo. We might go through difficult times tunaweza pitia katika wakati mwingine the lord is still on the throne lakini bwana yungali katika kiti cha enzi and thank god that by through this covid 19 tunashukuru bwana kupitia hii ugonjwa wa covid 19 we can now have the second service tunaweza kuwa na ibada ya pili and because of covid 19 na sababu covid 19 we are able to reach our saints who are not able to come tuko na uwezo wa kufikilia wale wa shirika wetu ambao hawajawezeshwa so kuingia every difficult situation na katika hali ngumu there is a good thing that god has prepared kuna jambo nzuri ambacho mungu ameweza kuandaa you could be going through a difficult times now unaweza kuwa unapitia wakati mgumu sasa hivi but there after there is something great that the lord has prepared kisha baadaye kuna kitu kikubwa ambacho bwana ameandaa oh hallelujah hallelujah Be- Abraham was blessed. Kabla Ibrahim aweze kubarikiwa. The Lord told him to go away. Bwana aliweza kumwambia aende mbali. Into a foreign land that the Lord will take him. Katika nchi ya utumwa ambayo Mungu atampeleka. And he left all his, his family members. Aliweza kuacha familia yake yote. Alone. Na akaenda peke yake. And in god's voice na kuweza kutii sauti ya bwana difficult time kupitia ule wakati mgumu the bible says the lord blessed abraham biblia inasema mungu aliweza kubariki ibrahimu and you and i were the descendants of our father abraham wewe na mimi sisi ni wa kizazi cha ibrahimu it takes somebody inachukua mtu ame na karimu mtu to develop courage kuweza kukuwa na ile usiri and faith na imani and be able to rise up na kuweza kuinuka and take a step of risk in your life na kuchukua hatua ya kuwa tayari katika maisha what's blessing in your life bosa uweze kuona baraka za bwana kwa maisha yako the simple definition of ufafanusi rahisi wa kuchukua hatua is doing something ni kufanya kitu that puts your life on line ambacho kinafikisha maisha yako mwisho haleluya haleluya when you do something that risks your life unachofanya kitu ambacho kinahatarisha maisha yako and dangerous your life ambacho kinatatarisha maisha yako dangerous your family inatarisha jamii yako something that endangers your career kitu ambacho kinatarisha katika taaluma yako you can easily say you have taken a risk unaweza sema kwamba umeweza kuchukua tahadhari praise be to the lord bwana yesu asifiwe from the biblical perspective kutoka mtasomo wa biblia the other definition of risk taking ufafanuzi mwingine wa kuchukua tahadhari is a taking a step of faith ni kuchukua hatua ya imani Faith works with risk takers. Imani inatenda kazi na watu kutahadharisha maisha yao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to the Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I say it again. Naweza sema tena. Faith works with risk takers. Imani inatenda kazi na watu ambao kutahadharisha maisha yao. In other words, kwa mambo mengine, you don't just sit down. Wewe usikaje tu pale 
chini. And pray God will do it. Na useme Bwana atatenda. You must be willing. Lazima ukwe una you rise up. Ya kuweza kuinuka and take a step of faith. Na kuchukua hatua ya imani. And begin to do things. Na uanze kutenda mambo. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema God will bless the work of your hands. Mungu atabariki kazi ya mikono yako. God will bless the step of your faith. Mungu atabariki hatua ya imani yako. From the scripture that we have just read. Toka katika kitabu ambacho tumesoma. The life Maisha ya watu wa Mungu Mordecai and the rest Mordecai na wale wengine they are lives at risk Maisha yao ilikuwa hatarini Somebody was planning to murder them Mtu alikuwa na mipango ya kuangamiza the entire generation ile jamii yote because they appeared to be succeeding sababu walionekana kuwa wana faulu in a foreign land katika nchi ambayo sio yao Somebody conspired na mtu akaweza kupanga by the name Haman kwa jina na amani he conspired aliweza kupanga to go before the king kwenda mbele mfalme that Mordecai and others ya kwamba Mordecai na wengine would be wiped out wakaweza kuchinjwa wote from the kingdom kutoka katika ufalme and this thing reached Mordecai na hiki kitu kikaweza kumfikia Mordecai so Mordecai sent somebody Mordecai akatuma na mtu because he used to sit at the gate sababu ale sababu alikuwa na keti katika lango kuu la kasri amen amina praise be to the lord bwana yesu asifiwe There is a revelation here. Kuna ufunuo hapa. It does not take your status. Haiwezi kuchukua hali yako in order for God to work with you. Kwako wewe Mungu kutenda kazi na wewe. It is not about your status in society. Sio kuhusu hali yako katika jamii. That will cause God to work with you. Ambayo itafanya Mungu kutembea pamoja nawe. Praise be to the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mordecai was a gatekeeper. Mordecai alikuwa mtu wa kuchunga lango. In other words, he was a watchman. Kwa maneno mengine alikuwa mtu wa kutunza lango la mfalme. Amen. Amina. But when he heard, lakini alipoyasikia, the right hand man of the of the king, ya kwamba Hamani mtu wa karibu sana wa mfalme, he conspired to finish them. Aliweza kuwa amepanga kuangamiza. A report to Esther. Aliweza kutumanisha kwa Esther. And Esther was told, na Esther kaambiwa, If you keep quiet, ikiwa utanyamaza, we shall be finished. Sisi tutaweza kuangamizwa. And when you think that you are in the comfort zone, na ambapo ukaweza kufikiria kwamba uko pale pako pazuri, Away, Mungu atatengeneza njia to save his people. Uweza kuokoa watoto wake. Esther did not understand na Esther hakuelewa what this all was about. Hii yote yalikuwa ya nini? And it was explained to her. Na aliweza kufafanuliwa. And Esther said, Esther akasema, Go tell all our people. Enda ambia watu wetu wote, both the young hata wadogo the old na wazee both the short and the tall wafupi na kwa warefu the educated and the educated wenye masomo na wasomo the rich matajiri go and tell them enda uambie all of us to fast pray sisi sote tufunge na tuombe kwa siku tatu night na usiku tatu let us all pray acha zote na tukaombe na kwa siku ya tatu we take a step of risk nitachukua hatua ya ya kuendesha into the king's palace kuingia katika kasri ya mfalme without his authority bila mamlaka yake and if i be killed na ikiwa ataniua let me be killed wacha akaniue but if god saves me na ikiwa mungu ataniokoa we shall all be saved sisi wote tutaokolewa now children of god Naona wa Mungu sasa I faith kwa imani I want you to know Naitaji uchu I want you to understand Naitaji uelewe We are talking about Tunaongea kuhusu issues of life Haya mambo ya maisha Matters of dying death ya kukufa Life and death Mambo kadhaa ya kifo Na acha tuseme By faith kwa imani I will go Nitaenda in the palace Katika kasi Tell the king Niambie mfalme What happened Kile ambacho Hamani inspired Ameweza kupanga Children. And if I die, let me die. Praise God.
in life katika maisha there comes a time unakuja wakati as a young person kama kijana you must rise up lazima utsimame and take a step na uchukue hatua and risk na uweze kuhatarisha so you are better man kwa uzuri wako in godly things katika mambo ya uungu it takes men and women inachukua wake kwa ume who can rise up by faith ambao wanaweza inuka kwa imani and say na kusema today i don't have a job siku ya leo sina kazi but i want to give myself lakini nahitaji kujitolea as a offering kama sadaka in the house of god katika nyumba ya mungu and i will say na nitasema every sunday ya kwamba kila jumapili every saturday ya kila jumamosi I will bomb the church. Nitapunguza kanisa. While I'm bombing the church, ninapopunguza kanisa. I will claim. Nitak nitahitaji before the Lord. Mbele ya Bwana. And say, kusema, Lord, as I continue shooting the church, Bwana ninapoendelea kufagia kanisa. Bless me with a job. Nibariki na kazi. And as you sweep and mop, na unapoendelea kupunguza, you risk yourself. Wewe unajitahadharisha wenyewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And enter into a covenant with God. Kuingia katika agano na Mungu. You must be willing to do something. Lazima ukuwe na shauku ya kufanya kitu. Don't sit idle. Wewe usikae tu bure. And think it will happen. Na kufikiria itatendeka. It won't happen. Haitatendeka. It cannot happen. Haiwezi fanyika. It shall not happen. Na haitafanyika. But you must rise up. Lazima uinuke. And take a step of faith. Uchukue hatua ya imani. Even if it is risky. Hata kama itakuwa ni kuhatarisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ladies that are married here. Wa mama ambao wameoleka hapa. You must take a step. Lazima uchukue hatua. Protect your marriage. Ya kuweza kulinda mume wako. Protect your children. Linda watoto wako. Protect your husband. Linda mume wako. Through prayer. Kupitia Wewe usikae tu bure. Lazima uchukue hatua ya imani. From where I come from. Kutoka pale yeye anapotoka kule. Those that came to Nairobi before us. Wale waliokuja mjini mbele yao. They used to say. Walikuwa wanasema hivi, you cannot buy land in Nairobi. Hauwezi nunua shamba mjini. Because it will be taken away. Sababu utanyang'anywa. Up to date they have never told us who will take it away. Na hadi sasa hawajai tuambia nani atakaye tunyang'anya. Don't remain at that ka. Wewe usisalie katika ile laana. You must rise up. Lazima uinuke. And risk yourself. Na uweze kujihatarisha mwenyewe. All these plots don't have titles. Oh, hizi mashamba hazina vieti. They may not have title deeds. Zinaweza kuwa hazina vieti vya They have certificates of ownership. Lakini ziko na makaratasi ya umiliki. Take a loan by Chukua mkopo nunua. Am I, am I talking to somebody? Jana ongeka mtu. Risk and buy. Wewe hatarisha na ununue. And begin to build a small house. Na uanze kujenga kanyumba kadogo. Title deed will come. Cheti cha umiliki kitakuja. Si you saw the president giving out title deeds for Korokocho. Uliona rais wa Bangi Dandora, Kayole Kasarani. Uliona rais akipeleka vieti pale popote wa Mbakasi. Mpaka kule Mbakasi. Amen. Amina. All this laksama who has a title deed. Hii laksama yote nani akona cheti cha umiliki? Nobody. Hakuna. But look at these gorofas. Lakini yeah. tazama haya majumba yote. Don't sit down and say. Usikae tu chini na useme. Oh pesa ya. Kwamba oh my money. The 43rd president of the United States said. Rais wa 43 wa Marekani alisema. I would rather die. Ni heri nife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While standing, ambapo nasimama, doing something, nikitenda kitu, than to die while seated. Kuliko kukufa kama nimeketi. I'm afraid. Sababu nimeogopa. Did you hear that? Ulisikia hiyo? God will work with risk takers. Mungu atatenda kazi na watu wa kuwatarisha. And I'm preaching in this church today. Na ubiri kwa kanisa hili leo. If we are going to live outside poverty, ikiwa tena kuishi kando na ubaguzi, Lazima uwatarishe. If you are doing something, ikiwa unafanya kitu, hear me my daughter. Nisikie wangu. Praise God. 
Bwana asifiwe. Today you are working. Siku ya leo unafanya kazi. You don't have a husband. Wewe hauna mume bado. But I know you have a boyfriend. Lakini najua uko na mpenzi kidogo. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Every father, kila baba, would wish that his daughter to be married. Angependa msichana wake aoleke. That's our joy. Hiyo ndio furaha yetu. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I'm looking for a day and I keep saying this. Yana anaangalia kwa siku na When you will walk here. Hapo atakapo kuona his mother are singing. Na mama wakiimba. And is singing. And na huyo mama anaimba pia haleluya haleluya that is my prayer hiyo ndio maombi yako don't let me know wewe usiweze kumwangusha chini now hear this sikiza hii today you are doing something siku ya leo unafanya kitu you don't have children hauna watoto who said if you are not married you cannot buy a house nani alisema kama hujaolea hauwezi who said if you are not married you cannot buy a plot nani alisema kama hujaolea hauwezi nunua shamba you young people nyinyi vijana nyinyi wake up from slumber abokeni kutoka usingizi take a risk nyinyi chukue hatari na uende kutenga kitu katika mashako yako and god will bless na mungu atakubariki Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. The mothers of this church. Wa mama kanisa hili. I am tired. Mimi nimechoshwa. To be a pastor. Kukuwa mchungaji. Of mothers. Wa wa mama. Whenever they sit together. Wapata wapo na kiti pale. They talk about somebody else. Wanaongea kwa mtu mwingine. Don't waste your time. Usipotese muda wako. Talking about somebody else. Tuongee juu ya mtu mwingine. Agree what is it we can do. Eleweni na kitu ambacho tunaweza kufanya ni nini? Can somebody say amen? Amen. A quick example. Mfano wa haraka. Your wife stays at home most of the time. Ukioka anafanya nyumbani she becomes a member. Lakini anafanya Mary, let's give ourselves a name. Mama Mary acha tujipatie jina. Revival ladies. Mama mama uvivio. We call ourselves revival ladies for example. Tunajiita wenyewe wa mama uvivio. She's a member, she's a member. Yeye mshirika yeye ni mshirika. Every weekend kila every sunday kila jumapili 100 100 100 100 that is 200 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 
to wake up lakini wakati unapongangana kuinuka and begin na unaanza to walk on the path of risk taking tembea katika barabara ambayo yenye kuatasha Bwana Mungu wetu will bless the work of your hand. Anaenda kubariki kazi ya mikono yako. I want to be a member in the church. Nahitaji kuwa mzee wa kanisa where ladies are entrepreneurs. Ambao wa mama ni wale wa kutoa kazi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be in a church. Nahitaji kuwa katika kanisa where we have elders. Ambao tuko na wazee that are business people. Ambao ni watu wa risha makers. Wanachukua hatua na wana tire. Sitachoka. To come and pray for your foundation. I will not tire. Sita choka. To come and bless the vehicles. Kuja kubariki gari yetu. Sita choka. To come and bless your investment. Kuja kubariki gari yetu. Choka. To bless the work of your hand. Kuja kubariki kazi ya mikono yenu. Praise be to the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati nimetoka hapa nje nimekuta hakuna parking. When, when, when I came here outside I thought there's no any parking left. Amen. Amen. Kwangu aliweka ma mawe. Where is parking? Was we mtu wa spark hapo nikikuja nipate nafasi. So that nobody can park there when he comes so he will park. Some don't fear to buy a car. Usiogope kununua gari. There will be no parking. So nikiangalia huko nimeona magari kubwa kubwa zimejaa. When I look at you see the big vehicles and people Praise are in charge. Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo ndio furaha yako. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mambo ya lando ni kuwapigia kelele. It's not fair. Sio wazo vizuri. Ask God to and I want you to take a step of faith. Ni kwa imani. And buy something for yourself. Na kujinunulia kitu mwenyewe. You are better off. Wewe uko salama. To pay bus fare. Kwaweza kulipa nauli ya matatu from Katani kutoka Katani coming here kukuja hapa than for your door to be locked. Kukuliko mlango wako kufungwa. If you believe it say amen. Unaamini sema amina. Na mimi nitakuja hata kama ni msitu kiasi gani. And I will come even if it will be night. I used to preach this. Alikuwa anahubiri hii to some of you who did not have even an idea. Kwa wengine wengi ambao hawakuwa hata na na kile yote kidogo. But today na wazo pastor anawaza kujenga hii. Lakini sasa pastor I'm thinking to build this. Sasa ninamchenga na mwanzo wewe pia umekubali sasa sasa umekubali. So you have agreed. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Pastor hii picha ndiyo ya kagari nataka kununua. Pastor this is the picture of the car that I want to buy. But you I used to think wewe unajua matajiri ndio unua magari. So umekuwa tajiri. Unaona na nyamaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I will not keep quiet. Sitanyamaza. We must be willing to risk. Lazima tuwe na shauku ya kutoka. Bible tells us. Habibi ndiye before the king Esther alipoenda mbele ya mfalme she got favor aliweza kupata kibali before the king mbele ya mfalme we are the children of our living god ya ni watoto wa Mungu I want to by saying something nahitaji kufunga kwa kusema kitu in the year 2020 mwaka 2020 regardless of covid 19 haitajalisha hatiro hizo to steal on the throne yes bado katika kisa hiki going to get hold of your heart naenda kushika mkono if you are at such a time like this hata kama wakati mgumu kama huu you can take a risk Unaweza kuchukua hatua ya hatari. God shall be with you. Na Mungu atakuwa pamoja nawe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever we enter a chemist, tunapoingia katika duka la kuuza dawa, they sell this mask at 100 shillings. Wanauza hii barakoa shilingi 100. The other day I got a supplier. Siku nyingine aliweza kupatana na ule mtu ambaye anasambaza. And I got I bought a whole box of 50. Na akaweza kununua katoni yote ya 50 at 800 shillings. Katika shilingi 800. That means hiyo inamaanisha it is 16 shillings. Ni shilingi 16 per piece. Kwa moja. If you buy two boxes 100, na ikiwa utanunua box mbili 100 100 100. And you don't sell at 100. Na hautauza kwa 100. Sell it at 50. Uza 50. 50 minus 16 shillings. 50 ukitoa 16. 34. nne. Every piece you have a profit of. Kila kimoja uko na faida ya. Who among us is selling this? Nani katikati yetu anauza hizi barakoa? Why don't you bring it here? When we are leaving the service we buy one. Kwa nini usilete hapo unapotoka kwa ibada? Mata, why don't you bring them? Kwa nini usilete? Who has tied your hands? Nani amekufunga mikono? Come out of that bondage. Toka katika ufungwa. And think out of your box. Na ufikirie hizo ya pesa risk. Na uweze kuchukua hizo shall bless the Lord on your heart. Praise be to the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ka 
shall not continue singing Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He paid the price for us to be saved. And if he is going to expand our boundaries, our economic status to climb, then we must be willing to take a risk. The Lord shall be with us. Can somebody say amen? Mechokora akili ya mtu eh. I've awakened that. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Bwana come. Bwana njoo. This brother. Huyu ndugu. Two weeks ago. Standing. Mwili aliyopita. Testimony. He gave a testimony here. Alitoa ushuhuda hapa. And he said. Akasema. With his little education. Na ile hali yake ya masomo kidogo. Since March when COVID came, kutoka mwezi wa 3 wakati corona ilipoingia, he has never lacked a job. Yeye yeah, hajawahi kosa kazi. I don't want to say what he normally does in the church. Nataka kusema kile ambacho huwa anafanya kanisani. But he came to me one day. Lakini alikuja kwake siku moja. He said every Sunday. Akasema kila Jumapili. I will be the one doing X. Yeye yeah, atakuwa anafanya jambo fulani kanisani. And he does it every Sunday. Quietly. Kimia kimia. Taking a risk. And because he must have something to bring. God will make sure. Mungu atahakikisha. He has a job. Yeye yako na kibarua. In fact I know. Na kwa kweli najua. You now have a job for the month of September and the month of October. Wewe uko na kazi ya mwezi wa 9 na wa 10. I already know. Yeye yeah, anajua. We talked with him. Yeye yeah, wanaongea pamoja. So I know. Yeye yeah, anajua. So at the end of August, mwisho wa mwezi wa 8, just come I'll tell you. Yeah, kuja tu atakao. The whole of September and October you have. Mwezi wa 9 na wa 10. You are fully employed. Wewe unaajiriwa. Continue taking a risk. Endelea kuchukua hatari. This water. Hii maji. That I always drink. Ambayo kila siku yeye unywa. Don't know whether it is the same person that brings it. But somebody took a risk. And he said, every Sunday, he will make sure there is water for the pastor. At least four bottles. With the corona, without corona, there is always a bottle of water. That's taking a risk. I want to tell you, my daughters and sons in Christ Jesus, the year 2020, even with this pandemic, God shall restore you. Hallelujah. But you must be willing to take a risk. And somebody say amen. We don't need to pamper you for you to come and give a tithe to the Lord. Take it upon yourself and remain faithful to the Lord and God will make sure that you have a bread on your table. I said in the morning service that in April 2020 I have been on the pulpit for 21 years. Years. And I have seen what God is able to do. There is a time we could not afford to pay our church rent for 3,000. Hallelujah. But today, if I stand here and say I need 10,000, Five of you will bring one, 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 one. You will bring five, five, five. And I will tell them no, it is enough. But it has taken to one day, years. Take a risk. Praise God. Children of God, take a risk. Believe God and trust Him. And begin what you need to do. And the Lord God of hosts will bless the work of your heart. When we started the live stream, when the churches were closed, we didn't have internet here. So I said, 
will buy. David told me we buy a maifa. David said, "We buy. We 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 buy. I gave him 7,000 from my own resources. We bought it. When we came here, we could not live stream. Because we are down and there are so many flats around us. So we said, okay, we can buy some bundles on our phone. It never worked. And I said, God, I will not stop preaching. Every Sunday, Sita, we, we must reach our people online. You know when you are enjoying those sermons at home, sometimes the pictures were not coming out well. And I could see people commenting and saying, no sound, no sound. I can't see people properly. You didn't know how much you were suffering here. And we were spending money. And we said, What do we do? So we started walking around looking for people who can come and connect us with the internet. And by God's grace, we were able to bring the internet here. This is a cable. Amen. Amen connected somewhere there. There is a machine somewhere there. Pastor, I have to go. Amen. Rudisha. Amen. And we pay it. 6,000. Another 4,000. And they brought it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We didn't have enough stands. We didn't have enough cameras. These things are expensive. But we said, we said I thank God for Elder Dad. And this young thing. We could come here and say, okay, tomorrow we need 4,000. How much do you have? Pastor sends 700. And Ugudane sends 500. I send 200. Then we come here by faith. Hallelujah. Amina. You need to preach. But you need also to make sure cameras are paid for. Cameras melipiwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And other things. Na vitu vingine. So we came. Tulekuja. And through faith. Na kwa imani. And taking a risk. Na kuchukua hatua ya tano. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today. Leo. We are able to live stream. Tuko na uwezo wa kwenda kwa mtandao. And you are able to see very clear pictures. Na huko na uwezo wa kuona pichari nzuri kabisa. They are here. Ni safi ziko hapa. You are able to see. Clearly, wherever they are, hallelujah. hallelujah. This is you, not me. Amen. But somebody had to take a risk. Praise be to the Lord. It did not happen because we had sat down. We trusted God. Amen. Amen. And I want to believe that after COVID-19, we will begin to do something here. It will come on you. And when, when you start working, bring five, bring ten. Buy some. We buy steel. Amen. When you spray yourself with good perfume, you know, in my house, I have three ladies. Yes. And they are going to And you know, Arembo na kujipamba si si haba. Unajua. Si yon kiswali sani si haba. So when you spray yourself with good perfume and you begin walking and, and flies begin to follow you don't waste your time give me that scarf you are going to for example you showered you sprayed yourself and now there is a nice scent following you. Then flies begin to follow you. And instead of going to Kariobangi, you stop and begin to fight the flies. Will you reach Kariobangi? 
Forget about the price. You have to carry your baggage. Amen. Amen. That is who we are. Let's not bother about the flies. <laughs> this plot is ours. We bought one million shillings. One man did not give us money. We raised the least we could. It is ours. We have the papers. We have water meter there. A brother gave us steamer. We will begin to build and we will put our own out. And some of the flies do not own anything. As, as miliki chochote. Amen. Amen. Flies don't have houses. Flies don't buy microphones. Flies live in the air. So why should you fight flies? Hello. Hello. You know I'm an elder. Yeah. My yes. firstborn is 27 years. Sasa mimi ni mtoto tena. So is here a child so also? Tisha tisha mimi na tumaneno ya hekaya bure. Mimi hata siwezi jibu kitu. I can't answer anything. Just keep quiet and go on with my things. Amen. Amen. So sita yeah. tutishiki kitu. Pana. No. Tendo kuchapa injili hapa. We'll continue preaching here. And my consolation is in this young people. Na msaada wangu. Msaada wangu huko huko hao vijana. Mimi ambaye you who are going to school you that God will bless you with a job you are the one who will come and build the church hallelujah hallelujah Mimi nilichukua maloan tukatopa hapo tukalipa. He took a loan with the papers and we paid. Huyu ni signatory. The papers huyu ni ni wakweka sahihi pia. Kula alikuwa na wengine. He was and others. Haijaandikwa kwa jina ya Jesus. Unacho nikikufa leo muimbe vizuri kwaya mnizike. Mukirudi mpange vile mtajenga kanisa. The papers are not in your hands. Because this time is yours. Hallelujah. What am I saying? Take a risk. Nasema nini? Chukua hatua ya hatari. Don't waste time kwa enzi. Usipoteze muda. Oh, watasema ni poa. They are saying oh, I'm you say you need to come. When you sell 10 masks, that for time stay you have 340. That uh, 34 na ende mara 10. Mara 10 you have 340. 340. Well, autoshani na ula anapiga mdomo na amekeka. You are not equal to those who are speaking without doing anything. Amen. Amen. Can somebody say amen? Mtu aseme amina. Mimi ambaye naenda na beba mawe mzito. Hakuna mawe hapa kama ile huwa na beba. Eh ndio ile. Who he who who carries the big stones like this. Sasa ile waone ile naonyesha isiki. Hiyo ndio kazi tunafanya. So that they can see. That the one that is doing. Hiyo. Hiyo ndio nabeba. That is what is Lakini nikishabeba but after carrying baada ya mwezi after one month ama wiki mbili or two weeks naweza ingia duka he can end into a shop na niseme nataka hiyo kiatu and then i th- i want that shoe regardless of the cost haijalishi ni sasa hiyo sina hiyo mawe na hiyo nimeoga vizuri amenipa vaseline nimejipaka hallelujah nikiingia hapa na naongea kiingereza i need that shoe how much and as in that shop he speaks english nataka ile kiatu Ila itangwa risky. It is called take a risk and work. Chukua hatua ya hatari na ufanye kazi. Somebody give the Lord a big hand. Unaweza pigia Bwana makofi mazuri. Let us all rise up on our feet. Tusimame zote kwa miguu zetu. Pastor what are you preaching about? Mchungaji unakuwa unahubiri kuhusu nini? Because Esther took a risk. Sababu Esther alichukua hatua ya hatari. She saved the entire generation. Aliweza kuokoa jamii nzima. Amen. Amina. Because she risked. Sababu alichukua hatua ya hatari. She was able to tell the king. Alikuwa na uwezo kuambia mfalme what he was firing to do. Kile ambacho Amani alikuwa anapanga kutenda. And the good Lord, na Bwana wetu mzuri, was able to save God's children. Aliweza kuokoa wana wake. Today whatever need you have Leo hitaji lolote ambalo uko nalo. I am going to give you a chance. Naenda kukupa nafasi. Weza kuchukua hatua ya imani. And the good Lord of heaven. Na Bwana mzuri wa bingu is going to bless. Anaenda kukubariki. He's going to answer your prayers. Anaenda kujibu maombi yako. But today refuse to sit down. Kwanza leo kataa kuketi.
wakati chini hallelujah hallelujah you are going to rise up on your feet na kuinuka kwa miguu zako and begin to walk na uanze kutembea in the things of god katika mambo ya uungu in the good god na bwana wetu mzuri i will favor you ataenda kukupa kibali cha juu kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. Give us a number. Tupe wimbo. And we shall be praying. Na tutakuwa tunaomba in the name of the Lord. Kwa jina la Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. kila mahali ulipo inue mkono wako juu 